Center Coast Living has many ties to World War II, particularly in our coastal towns. A World War II rescue boat that was once stationed in Avila Beach has returned to the area, spending the summer and fall months in Morro Bay, where you can climb aboard and learn about its important wartime role. On the new docks in Morro Bay is a very old boat. What we have here is an 85 foot long, 20 feet wide, rescue boat. As you can see on the emblem up here, it's the United States Army Air Force rescue boat. Robert Swain is a Morro Bay Maritime Museum board member and gives tours of this ambulance on water. When pilots got shot down out in the ocean or had trouble and had to ditch their plane, this boat would go out and rescue them. Of the 144 rescue boats that were made for the war, this is the only one in the world that looks just like it did back then. It doesn't look like much from but inside it's pretty intense. So we climbed aboard and quickly learned how authentic this vessel is. Compass original, all the dials original. And the captain's chair has a perfect view of Morro Rock. Down below, there's captain's quarters down here. Captain and the co-captain would stay down here. They have their own place to eat. This little door at the dining table. <laughs> Here's your coffee, Captain. Connects to the galley kitchen, where the original 1940s fridge still keeps things cool for today's crew. While there, peek into the engine room. You'll also tour the communications quarters, see where the crew slept, and where patients were cared for. First thing they'd have to do when they bring them back, naturally they're going to be probably hypothermic, been in the water for a while. So you got to put them in here, cover them up with blankets, try to get them back to it normal temperature. Hershey's chocolate given as a soothing, even sedating treatment for rescued patients. Up top, climb in here and pretend you're a crew member armed to protect the ship. And we had a gentleman in here who said he shot these during the war and he'd have to carry them up four flights of stairs. I go, holy mackerel, I don't even know if I could do it. We have trouble getting them up these five steps. It's those stories and passing them on that makes this all worth it. They sacrifice their lives so we could be here talking about it and having a good time. The tours run 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Friday through Monday, and it's important to know you must wear closed-toed shoes when you tour the boat, and you have until October 6th to check out this unique That's piece of history. Awesome to see. Yeah, a lot to learn in there, and yeah. you said that there's a lot more to be seen than just so what you showed. So much more. I could barely fit in all of that into that story, and there's, yeah, there's so many interesting facts, and mm -hmm. you're going to learn a lot, so I would highly recommend going out there, and what a perfect place to 